Clear Light Saunas overall is a US company that was started by uh, Dr. Rowley Duncan about 20 years ago. Well, I met uh, Rowley about six years ago. We had a conversation whether that would be something that we want to bring to Down Under. Johannes at the time was my intern and um, a couple of weeks after I was, I was in, in Berkeley, California where Jacuzzi Clear Light is based and I was talking to them and telling them that you know there's, there's a really capable man in, in, in Europe. It just turned out that there was no distributor, so they decided, or they offered us, if you like, you can actually start with us straight away uh, and distribute us. Europe and Germany was unfolding whilst Australia and New Zealand was growing, and you know, I think we're now in the fifth year. Mm. What really connects us, besides that we're both from the same part of Germany and that we look alike, is that we also um, we have, a, we have a background in um, economic engineering. We really embrace education in the business. We generally say like an educated customer is our best customer. I think uh, part of our vision at Clear That Sonus is to, you know to keep up the customer promise, to stick with a lifetime warranty, to have the trust in the market, to be known for excellence and you know pioneer in technology. But I think what we're both really excited about is like. Uh, enabling our sauna and you know the infrared sauna at its core uh, to you know to everyone in the world because it's so powerful it's such a powerful tool for your health and wellness. We are endorsed by many different doctors, practitioners, for example the, the Hippocrates Institute or some some of the cancer clinics in Germany. Sebastian and I met actually in Germany, in northern Germany, in a town called Flensburg, which is the most northern city in Germany. It's right at the Danish border. Um, I was sitting in university uh, at a course. Sebastian actually came in with uh, the professor and um, sort of said, hey, I'm Sebastian. Uh, if you guys ever want to do an internship in New Zealand, do let me know. You know, I've been living there for the last, I think back then it was nine or 10 years. And uh, I, at that time, was quite keen to do an internship overseas. So I was like, holy heck, like this is a great opportunity. He wrote his email, he wrote his email address uh, on, the, on, the, on the board. I noticed it down and then he said, oh, you know, just drop me a few emails and we'll figure it out. And so I did. Um, but uh, communication wasn't his strength uh, back then and I think you've, you've improved a lot. Um, but I think I had to write probably 50 emails to get like five replies back. But I think um, that's certainly, you know, certainly my strong suit, like, you know, knowing the timing and seeing opportunities. And that was, you know, that was the start. I flew to New Zealand. Sebastian picked me up, organized a flat, um, and we became working colleagues, then friends, and now business partners. So it's, uh, it's beautiful how things evolved. And I think if I hadn't followed up with that emails and really chased him a couple of times because I really wanted it, we probably wouldn't be we wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah. So.